I'm Matt Bichard with NARIDSREIT.com here in Miami for the 2016 Leader in the Light Working Forum. Joining me is Sarah Neff, Vice President of Sustainability with Kilroy Realty Corporation. Sarah, thanks so much for joining us. It's so great to be here. Now, you've been involved in the sustainability industry within the real estate space for a number of years now. As you look at companies that are just sort of getting started and beginning to implement their programs, what advice or sort of missteps are you seeing some companies make? Right, well I have two major missteps. One is for capital projects, so we're talking lighting retrofits, controls upgrades, putting in photo cells, VFDs. I think we get very enthusiastic and then we don't realize that there is a commissioning process. Nothing works right on the first try and setting expectations. I think what happens is we get really excited and we put in these lights and we haven't told the teams, listen, some of the lights are gonna fail. Some ten tenants might not like the color temperature. The sun might be shining and your photo cells still haven't turned off your lights and that's okay. But setting that expectation because otherwise people don't realize that there's going to be that extra time then they don't want to do future projects. The other thing is um, just ignoring how important it is to really engage your engineers. I feel like there's often sort of a fear of talking directly to those guys and feeling, you know, what, what do they want? Like, what are they interested in? What tools do they need? Um, and so you can shove a bunch of capital projects in a building and that's important, but I think a lot more benefit can come out of making sure the engineers have the tools and motivation to make the building run the best. Now there's been a lot of discussion especially here at the Working Forum about reporting sustainability data and how useful it can be for investors. But what do you think needs to happen to ensure that investors get the right information so that they can properly value all the work that companies like Kilroy are doing? Yeah, this is such a tough question um, and we are all sort of figuring it this out at this forum. Um, but I think what I'm hearing is that investors want more info in the 10K itself, the 10K, the 10Q, you know, our regular disclosures. Having a standalone sustainability report is great because there's a lot of detail there. You can really get into it. But as far as like high level metrics, I think comparable metrics that are in in the in those in those financial disclosures that come out all the time is what's really important because that's where they're seeing it. And it also shows that there's enough executive buy-in that they're willing to put sustainability info into such important, you know, your SEC filings. So that's what we think, but my answer may be different next year, but that's that's the direction we're going at Kilroy. And, and lastly, uh, Kilroy was recognized as a uh, 2015 leader in the light in the office sector. Um, what do recognitions like like, like the Leader in the Light Award, mean for the company and, and how it grows going forward? It was so exciting to win. Um, and there's a lot of um, you know, ramifications of winning, which are great, but the things that mean the most to me are um, how it makes my own uh, coworkers feel about the company. You know, I had somebody come up to me right after the award ceremony and say, I just put it on Facebook. Um, and so she's obviously really excited about her job. Um, and then I've had people for me, um, you know, prospective applicant new hires and say, um, the reason I wanted to work at Kilroy in a non-sustainability position, these are people applying to be whatever, corporate receptionist, accounting, but I, I wanted to work at this company because I've seen all the great work you're doing in sustainability. Um, and what that is doing is, as you know, new people are coming into the company, um, those people are coming in truly you know, knowing and believing that this is really part of our DNA, and so we're seeing the culture shift even more. Um, so those sort of high profile publicized things both make people really excited about their jobs, which I love, and then also when the new talent comes in, they find us because of sustainability, and then they bring even more new energy. So it means a lot to us. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.